Yes. Yeah, on deck we got Johan but coming to the stage right now. Make it loud for go. Seventy-five points higher than your usual comedy uh, audience. It's, uh, it's gonna kind of suck here, you know. You know how you make the money with the comedy. You gotta make the idiots laugh. <laughs> who the fuck here would spend money on comedy? You know, we're too smart for that. <laughs> Big hand for the microphone stand. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking microphone stand. It, 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 it's got something that we all need. It's got hope. Yeah, he just sits there and says, oh, man, look at me. I'm the center fucking stage. I am the center. I'm in the spotlight. And every fucking comedian comes up and goes, there, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> poor, poor fucking microphone. Quivering at night when the place closes down. Why? Why? <laughs> so did you write that bit? The time unit bit. Did you? Were, was that? Chemically induced. <laughs> no. I, you weren't high when you wrote that. No. You weren't really, really fucking high. <laughs> you weren't so high that you didn't know you were high. Mm -hmm. They did the time that time muted. Time muted. Because time is wild. Because you know, once upon a time, there was no fucking time. Why was there no time? Because nothing transpired. Nothing fucking happened. And then something happened, it's like, oh well now we got time. And then I don't know, did something happen like again right away, so it just kept on timing or whatever, you know, but time will fuck with you. That's why, you know, if anybody gets like too religious or whatever, I was like, well, what was before time? Who made God? And it's it's annoying. So Anyway, anybody from any place? <laughs> Fuck those people from places. <laughs> <laughs> those people would oh, I'm from this place, I'm from that place. Oh, well, we've heard it all before. You're just a placeholder. You're just a fucking, you're, you're, a, you're a poser. I'm from Iowa. Or as they say in southern Iowa, I away, I away, I away, and I stay away. Um, so many crackers there. Crackers. <laughs> many crackers in the house? Oh, you're from camp, you're a cracker. <laughs> you have some pretty hardcore crackers here. Huh? There is a cracker. I like cracker because cracker white doesn't work for me. First of all, I'm Irish, and Irish people were never fucking considered white. You know, it was, we were called something that you can't say on, on Europe. Uh, but my grandfather came here at the age of nine in 1868, right after the Civil War. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that was a wee, wee bit of crack. But uh, where you're from influences what you do, how you do comedy, and the Boston. I'm sure that comedy scene really influenced you, American on comedy scene. The Beatles, Jack the Beatles. You ever heard of this band, the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> they do this thing called music. <laughs> really weird, but uh, they wrote this on black. And it's so beautiful, and it, it's because they were raised in England, and it's so pastoral. Have you been to England? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, pastoral, and old, old, the old beautiful buildings, and they're very beautiful. But suppose the Beatles had been born where I was down on Skid Row. Mm -hmm. That song would have been completely different. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Off his star she broke her favorite pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think this crack hole's black, well, fuck your racist ass because she's Irish and she's white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we Irish can smoke our crack. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Keep going for go, everybody.